Node.js 18 is now available, and in this video, we're looking at the newest features of this update. Let's dive in. So, probably the most useful feature in this update is the Fetch API, which is now available by default. The Fetch API is an API to perform web requests to other APIs and servers. In the old days, you needed third-party packages to do this. This feature is still experimental, but it should look fine for most people. There's also a new test funnel module which allows you to do unit tests without needing third-party modules, like Jest. Personally, I don't do unit tests much, but it does seem like a pretty nice addition to Node.js. You can import this module by using the node colon prefix, which means it's a core module. They also updated the V8 engine that runs your code under the hood. It's now running version 10.1. This improves some stuff and adds the new find last and find last index array methods. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. And finally, they included the Web Streams API, which is used to process streams of data from the internet. Additionally, the Blob and the Broadcast Channel API are also available. I personally haven't dealt much with these APIs, but I'm sure it would help some of you out there. And yeah, that summarizes the new Node.js 18 update. Node 18 will have support until April of 2025. It's also worth noting that Node.js 12 is reaching its end of life this month, so well, time to upgrade. There's also a few other things I didn't mention in this video, which you can read in the official announcement. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.